Good morning. It's Thursday, November 9th, about 6 a.m. Central Time. Overnight, the precious metals are weaker after yesterday's declining session. December gold down four dollars, nineteen fifty-four. D silver down ten cents, twenty-two sixty-two. December copper unchanged at three sixty-three, and January platinum down two at eight sixty-nine. So overnight news: the U.S. fired on an Iranian weapons depot in Syria, calling it a self-defense move. Market reaction: we saw crude oil jump up about a half a percent on that news. Crude oil, remember, is hovering right around a three-month low after falling 7% in the last two days. It did break through that 200-day moving average, did break through some key levels of support, and formed a head and shoulders on the particular chart pattern here that we're looking at on the daily chart. Shifting gears to the gold market, it's going to be a heavy day for Fed speakers. Right now, there's a 9.6% chance that the Fed raises rates in December, according to the CME Fed Watch tool. We'll see if any kind of changes to that occurs as a lot of these conversations take place. Looking at the economic data coming out, we've got initial claims and a USDA report. The current trend and critical levels we're watching in the precious metals on the gold market, your first level supports 1950. We've traded on either side of that in the overnight session. And then your resistance points. We're going to have 1982, that's going to be your 200-day moving average, and one other level I'm watching on the gold market, which is that 50-day moving average, 1939, that's going to be a key level of support down to the trend reversal point at 1936. Shifting gears to the silver market, it's neutral, but it's consolidating, but slightly drifting lower. Your resistance points, resistance 1, 50-day moving average, 2293. Resistance 2 is going to be 2327, and your resistance 3 is the 200 day moving average at 2382. Your support is 2250. We traded below that in the overnight session, and then beyond that, it's going to be 2235, which is your trend reversal point. You don't want to see it close below there. It's going to shift back to a bearish trend and could have a similar chart pattern to something like, say, platinum, which has been declining for several sessions now. The outside markets here are mixed. The equity market's slightly firmer. The U.S. dollar up 10 basis points, 105.50. Crude oil, again, up 32 cents, 75.65. And your 10-year treasury yields, 4.54%, up three basis points. You got any questions on futures and option trading, give me a call, 312-858-7303. Remember, futures and option trading does involve risk of loss, may not be suitable to all investors. Good luck and good trading.